might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, who came to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us, and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The Lord said to me, Go buy yourself a linen loincloth, wear it on your loins, but do not put it in water. I bought the loincloth as the Lord commanded and put it on. A second time the word of the Lord came to me thus, Take the loincloth which you bought and are wearing and go now to the parish. There, hide it in a cleft of the rock. Obedient to the Lord's command, I went to the parish and buried the loincloth. After a long interval, the Lord said to me, Go now to the parath and fetch the loincloth which I told you to hide there. Again, I went to the parath, sought out, the t- sought out and took the loincloth from the place where I had hid it. But it was rotted, good for nothing. Then the message came to me from the Lord. Thus says the Lord, So also I will allow the pride of Judah to rot, and the great pride of Jerusalem. This wicked people who refuse to obey my words, who walk in the stubbornness of their hearts and follow strange gods to serve and adore them, shall be like this loincloth, which is good for nothing. For as close as the loincloth clings to to a man's loins, so had I the whole house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord, to be my people, my renown, my praise, my beauty. But they did not listen the word of the Lord. You have forgotten God who gave you birth. You were unmindful of the rock that begot you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. When the Lord saw this, he was filled with loathing and anger towards his sons and daughters. I will hide my face from them, he said and see what will then become of them. What a fickle race they are, sons with no loyalty in them. Since they have provoked me with their no God and angered me with their vain idols, I will provoke them with a no people, with a foolish nation I will anger them. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be 
be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to the Lord. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that a person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the largest of plants. It becomes a large bush, and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was leavened. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables, to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has laid hidden from the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Our God always wants to be close to us and wants us to cherish how close he is to us. And he will get anything to do, he will get anything, he will do anything to get us to pay attention to that. He sends people into our lives sometimes, or sometimes he sends a particular book at the right time. He's adorned this beautiful creation that we get to take in. He gives us beautiful music or paintings and the sacraments. And sometimes he also gives us very specific images, which is why the prophet Isaiah says this morning, for as close as the loincloth clings to a man's loins, so had I made the house of Israel and the whole house of Judah cling to me, says the Lord. There's an image for your Monday morning. Needs to get our attention, wants to grab our attention and did so so much, wanted to be so close to us, that he took on, he clothed himself in our human nature. He was divine and immaterial, not like anything we know of or experience with our senses, but took on a body and flesh like we have, had desires like we have, so that we could know that we are not alone. Not just that he's not far away, but that he's totally with us, near us and next to us. But so that we wouldn't think that he was just near us or next to us, but really within us, for that reason, he gives us the Eucharist. We stand as we offer our prayers and petitions before the Lord. For the church throughout the world, especially the church in places where she's persecuted for Christian faith, that she will know courage and joy to proclaim and witness to the risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. We pray for world, national, state, and local leaders, that they will govern with integrity and justice in accord with the natural law. We pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for those who are sick and suffering, especially all those who are suffering right now from the coronavirus and for those who are treating them or ministering to them. We pray for a swift finding throughout the world uh, of a vaccine that can be administered equitably throughout the world. And we pray for those who feel alone or abandoned. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all married couples, for an increase of grace and peace in marriage, in marriages everywhere. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for those who have died, those for whom you, Lord, have given up your life. 
and for the intention for which this Mass is offered in honor of Saints Anne and Joachim. We pray to the Lord. God, our Father, hear these prayers which we make through the heart of your Son, your Son who comes close to us in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, 
broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they shall see God.
Let us pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you for being here, and have a good day.